In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to go from basic green screen footage to something like this without using Fusion in DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you're anything like me, using Fusion has been super confusing and very challenging, especially from switching over from Adobe or Final Cut Pro. Now, without further ado, let's jump into DaVinci and I'll show you how to do it. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve right now and I have my green screen clip here. As you can see, I have a top light going down on my subject and the green screen is very bright with these lights illuminating it. So my subject is very silhouetted and very contrasty compared to the background. And the way that we're gonna do this without Fusion is we're just gonna go into the effects tab and we're gonna go and type in key. So that we're gonna use the 3D keyer, drag that onto your clip and then I've already done it a couple times here just to kind of test it out a little bit. But all you do is you click this here, make sure your open effects overlay is on. All you're going to do really easy. You're just going to drag until that goes away until your subject is totally masked out like that. And then you're just going to drag this D spill slider here all the way up. Then you might be thinking, well, I need to get rid of all this crap behind him. So, just go under the video tab and then what you're going to do, you're going to crop it out just like this. So crop it out just enough to where all you see is your subject on a black background. Then you're going to take the background that you want and drag it underneath your subject. Then you're just going to take your zoom here and drag it back to where you want the subject to be. I like it to be about right there. And so this background, I actually had my buddy Spencer design this through Cinema 4D and he rendered, rendered the whole thing out and sent me still images. That's all it was. It was just still images, just pictures. And you can find stuff just like this on stock websites like Adobe Stock, Motion Array, any of those that will, will do fine. For this music video specifically, him and I collaborated a little bit and we wanted to create this mountain range with like a broken down temple in the background. So it was very specific. I'm going to take this here and then I'm going to go into the color tab. I'm just going to bring the highlights down about right there, bring this down to about there, and then add a little bit of a shift here. Make sure I bring my blacks down to about there. Make sure I'm not peeking down here. Being a little dark in the corner here is okay. So I just want to make sure my background is nice and dark, just like that. And then I'm going to bring the sky up just a little bit more so it's really contrasty from my subject sitting here. So I have my subject here and basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to create this node and I'm going to darken him up a little bit just that way he kind of sticks with the background a little bit more just like that. And turn this node on just to show you that I lifted these blacks up just a little bit more just that way he would seem a little bit more glued into the into the environment. Then I'll go back into the background here, create a new node and then I'm going to take an ellipse tool, bring it down just like this, shrink it down to be about, right about, right about there. And then bring down the highlights and the darks just like that, just to kind of create a little bit of a shadow. That looks pretty good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then, I'm going to create a new compound clip. I'm going to call this base layer wide. Okay. So just to, just for the sake of time, all I did was copy the settings that I did on the previous edit. And what I did, I started with darkening up everything and playing with my curves just a little bit right here. Played with the curves just a little bit more in this one too. So I'm going to add this glow effect here. I'll bring it to about there. Increase the spread a little bit so it goes more onto the ground where my subject is standing. Increase the gain a little bit so it kind of gives like a misty type of look. And I'll go in here add a little bit more shadows just so that way he's separated enough from the background. More shadows. And then for this one, I'm adding even more of a glow with a overlight preset from Maxon or Red Giant Universe. 
For this one, I just play with the curves just a little bit more to get more of that separation and kind of that like more of that emphasis on the misty look and then even more darkness here. Okay, so then I think it would be cool if we just went in and added some lightning strikes just like that and then add this background in too because we want it to look like he's shrouded in kind of like a cloud. The lightning background just kind of looks like this. And then the lightning strikes are just stock lightning strikes. Nothing too crazy. So now you're going to have your bass player rocking out in a freaking huge ass storm. And it's super dope. So now instead of it being just a still image, a static shot, because uh, that's a little boring, what we're going to want to do is create keyframes to begin the motion of the shot. You're going to click these keyframes here. And then by the end of the shot, you're just going to zoom in, do some rotations just like this, maybe offset it a little bit like that. Mess with the pitch and the yaw. So that way, when it's all said and done, you got your motion just like that. But then you might be thinking, well, it's still not selling me good enough. Well, hang on. All you got to do is go into your effects panel and then just type in camera shake. Drag that onto the clip. And then there's your natural camera shake motion. And there you have it. No fusion needed, no after effects, BS. Just makes things a little bit easier for those of us who are still learning fusion. And for those that are just want to get something cool done, but are used to playing with layers and basic effects in Premiere Pro or Final Cut. Well, that's about all I got for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned something, if you want to learn more about how I do green screen work, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.